been committed to that body work all night. He's depositing into body punching. All right, coming up next, we get to this featherweight clash between Max Holloway and Bruce Lee. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Blesshoff. The Blessed Express. <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway and his preparation, true Hawaiian to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he steps into the office. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer, BJ oh. Penn. Max Blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blessed Holloway! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus 12-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big punch land. 
Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Leg kick. Man, just a beautiful combination there for Max Hall. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer the fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. 34 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Hollywood. Oh! Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. Eight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish. Down. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Combinations here. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> you got to check these low leg kicks. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big old. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon! All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight tilt between the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung and Bruce Lee. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Jung is two years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this 
is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Chung. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. as this fight gets underway, and you can't to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice punch by Chan Sung Chung. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He lands a switch knee. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Plus right hand is true. So just over 20 total strikes. And counting have now landed for the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. You got to check these low leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. Slips the punch. Oh, wow. Head kick. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the force behind that leg kick. in our opening round. Oh. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell.
All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. The Korean zombie gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Checks the leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the call. Man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Straight punch lands. Shit, nice liver shot lands. Oh! He's mixed up his target. He's going kicks, he's going punches. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. Wow! He's going back. Holy smokes. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Getting tighter. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control, what are you doing? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. He didn't oh. like that one. See what he can do with it. Big knee there to the chest. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. He certainly paid off over those previous five months. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Mixes in an elbow for good measure. 
Finisher. Whoa! Oh, big left. Oh. Oh, holy smokes. He put it to sleep. And he gets up. But oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you oh! Oh! Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Cable in. Oh! Big diving punch lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, big elbow. Lands a nice one, too. and everything landed. Oh! Oh! Wow! Man! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big roundhouse now, just misses. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Switching stances here. The Korean zombie going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. better in mixed martial arts than a finish by way of the elbow. It takes a lot of technique, a lot of repetitions in the gym, and you've got to have a lot of confidence in your skills to throw those elbows and try to maximize force over a short distance. Of course, when you land, it can be absolutely devastating, and in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Chung.